thinking about uh, secularism in Bosnia and Herzegovina, um, I wonder, really I wonder sometimes, are we yet a secular state? Because there are so many um, uh, indicators that uh, religious leaders of all religions uh, are very much involved in the politics, in the politics of uh, forces in power in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Because as you know, in Bosnia and Herzegovina there are two, uh, three national parties uh, on power, not to say nationalistic parties. Uh, and they all have their religious um, supporters among, uh, among, uh, among uh, churches. churches. So, uh, such a kind of mixture between uh, religion and uh, public life and political life uh, is something that uh, have to be worrying, not only for women, but for all democratic forces in, in the country. This is, uh, this is uh, my answer on your, your first question. And the question is about uh, how how uh, it reflects to women specifically. Excuse me. We have had in mind that Bosnia and Herzegovina is not only transition transition country, not only post socialist country, but it is also the post war country, where I could say the war is not finished yet in the sense that we are um, yet um, divided society, sometimes strictly divided, divided by religious, divided by nations. And unfortunately, this is uh, in the constitution of Bosnia and Herzegovina, in the Dayton Peace Accord, um, agreement is uh, Bosnia Herzegovina is, is a constructed as divided society. So uh, the uh, Bosnia Herzegovina is a divided society by nation, by by a religious, and uh, constitutionally it, it has been established as a divided society by the Dayton Peace Agreement constitutions. So um, there are, in addition there are more uh, minorities than we have before because uh, the minorities, for example, Muslims are minorities in uh, Republika Srpska, the Serbs are minorities in uh, uh, Federation, the Kurds are minorities in Republika Srpska and in some way in Federation as well. So you have new minorities in the field and new problems uh, connected with with the status of to be minority um, um, in, in actual situation. All of these groups are in some way supported uh, under quotation mark supported by their their um, uh, religious nationalities and um, in some way, unwillingly, maybe somebody doesn't want to be protected by their own nationality, but, but the constitution is uh, um, made in, in such a way that uh, it is provoked that unwillingly, unwillingly you are represented by so-called your national leaders, and religious leaders, etc. So, uh, uh, the citizenship in Bosnia and Herzegovina is something very, very weak. We are not citizens in, in the full uh, meaning of the word. And especially the women are not citizens in such a certain senses. Are the laws secular or do, do you have separate laws for separate communities? Uh, I didn't understand. The laws. The laws. Uh, what kind of laws we have? Uh, looking at the laws, there are, let us say, um, uh, civil laws. There are 
they are democratic, uh, they are uh, looking generally. Um, on the paper, it is everything is it is uh, not everything, but there is a tendency to have uh, the anti-discriminatory laws. But in the practice, when when you uh, uh, want to apply to implement these laws, it's impossible because you are minorities in a. In a you are minority in uh, some uh, a region, and you are or you are majority, and this provokes uh, so many uh, discriminations against uh, the people who are not majority. And what about women? How does that affect women? Uh, all this situation, I think that the, that the women are the biggest loser of of the process of post-war transition in all the region, not only in the Bosnia Herzegovina, because there is a tendency to marginalize them from the political power or from the decision-making bodies. They have no voices and not uh, enough voices at the public side, and in some way uh, the women in Bosnia and Herzegovina has to fight for what they have just um, achieved before to mm -hmm. save the rights that they um, previously uh, has uh, uh, enjoyed. Enjoyed, and they uh, uh, they fight uh, they fight it for this, but uh, the tendencies are. Uh, to deprive them of their their rights, especially there is there are the signs that uh, there's a danger they will be deprived of their reproductive rights in the region, not only in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And so recently, when um, TV discussion about abortion and about the con contraception, there are some uh, women from uh, some uh, women's NGO and there are some prizes uh, orthodox prizes and they had a discussion very very um, tough discussion about and I was really shocked what were the arguments of, of uh, the religious leaders and some doctors participated in this discussion because uh, Discussion uh, arranged uh, by uh, Montenegro, Montenegro uh, broadcast on the issues, and what what I was uh, sorry about that uh, the women uh, present uh, in this uh, this uh, broadcast they had no um, enough strength. To oppose them because they were so aggressive, so convinced that they are right, and so so primitive. So in in some moments they just uh, retire. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. Yes, retreat. A retreat. A retreat uh, in discussion. Although their arguments were really totally okay. So this is about women. And, and the Orthodox Church, that's, that's the big threat for women, it's uh, on reproductive rights? Uh, they are threats uh, from all the religions. Uh, what are the threats from the Muslims, for instance? I think that they are very similar, similar threats. Uh, in some way they, yeah. they agree on, uh, on um, women's rights, on the uh, family life, on... Um, marriages on um, way of, uh, of, uh, of uh, behavior all they all with the with the little differences among them uh, try to revitalize and retraditionalize re the old women's role okay and for the time being they don't have separate laws. Separate laws. Communities, religious communities no, don't, they don't have. No, they don't have, but there are some 
intentions and some um, indicators that they want to have it. For example, um, I remember uh, three years ago, there was proposal to the parliament of Bosnia and Herzegovina to introduce polygamy in, in the uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, jury uh, decree. The laws. Um, um, but um, this amendment came too late. It was a um, technical problem, came too late, and it was not, it has not been discussed in the parliament. But the people were smiling and joking about this proposal, and I said to, to my colleagues, it's not so for, for, for joking and for smiling, because okay. the, the, the man who proposed this was the president of the um, uh, Commission for the Human Rights within the Parliament. So it is not anonymous man with, uh, with no power to influence, etc. So it was uh, some kind of, uh, of I, I think, um, that it was uh, to try the, the public opinion to, to, yeah. to see how, how the reactions uh, will be to, to this proposal.